Here we have the permeate pump. Basically, what this little pump does is it greatly increases the efficiency of a 100 GPD RO system such as this. Uh, basically, what the pump actually does is it uses the wastewater pressure to um, turn the pump, which then in turn creates a vacuum on the product water side of the membrane, pushing the water into the tank. Normally, with a RO system, your most inefficient time um, is when you're just drawn a little bit of water out of the tank and just need to refill a little bit. So what this system does is it greatly, greatly increases that efficiency. We've actually um, done our testing with um, drawing five liters of water and then using um, this permeate pump and not and without a permeate pump to actually refill the system to do real world testing at a, at a fixed pressure to see what kind of performance gain you actually get with um, with using one of these permeate pumps. Okay, and uh, let's go on to testing. First, what we did is we filled a, a five litre bottle of water from a standard RO system without the permeate pump actually installed. Uh, five litres is typically about the largest single uh, load that you would take out of the RO system. And um, as the loads get um, smaller, your efficiency actually goes down. So this is sort of a worst case test, tip, tip, a typical real world worst case test for the permeate pump. As with drawing smaller quantities of water, it would actually perform better. So then once the five liters filled, then um, the, dra we, we, the, the drain is running now and um, we basically see how much water it actually takes to um, until it's replenished that five liters in the tank. The, the, the concept that this pump works on is as your um, tank gets full, the pressure that the, the water needs to push against when pushing through the membrane gets more and more and more. And um, this gives you a longer time that the system's running and giving you the more wastewater we see here. And um, it, it's still running, but um, it, we expect it to stop soon with what we have here. And there we can see now the the water's actually just um, just dripping, and it's really slowed slowed down quite a lot. And there we've basically come to a stop. All right, so that's first test completed. Now to install the permeate pump, you take the pump. You'll see it's got a little clamp to attach to the membrane. If you need something to cut some of the pipe with, and you need a little bit of extra pipe to do the do the installation. Then basically, what you'll see there's a little arrow to show you which way is up on the system, and then you'll you'll see it's clearly marked which pipes need to attach attach where. So the first step is that we take the the water that is um, going to the drain. So we disconnect it from the, the membrane. You'll see it's the one on the side of the membrane. And um, the, one, the one we're using here has got the Jacko screw fittings on. And with the Jacko fittings, you wanna cut off the, the tip of the pipe to remove the actual outer fitting. And that we detach to the output side for the reject water on the permeate pump. Take um, the fitting, remove the old piece of pipe. In, insert the fitting over the new new piece of pipe and then we can run it back through to attach it back again to the membrane and just make very sure to screw these in thoroughly or if you have the quick connection ones that it's pushed in all the way past past the seal and um, ideally do this whole operation somewhere where if you have a have a leak with a, with, with a pipe that you've detached that it's easy enough to to uh, get to it to fix it and that you'll actually be able to see then check how the pipe needs to run to get back to the permeate pump and just cut the pipe there and insert it there again with these it has an o-ring so make sure to apply a, a, a lot of pressure and you'll feel that it'll go in initially and then go in further Next, we want to take the product water, which is the middle pipe on the membrane. In this specific case, um, the, the pipe is too short to reuse the existing pipe. So we'll, we'll have to detach it from both sides and replace it, um, the whole section of pipe completely. 
but um, as you'll see, this is in real time. It's not. Uh, uh, it didn't take take me too long to actually um, fit the whole thing to the system. So we'd have to cut it in the middle there to get the Jacko Jacko fitting off. And again, we take a new piece of pipe. Uh, we used about two meters for this this setup, and we attached that Jacko fitting back onto the non-return valve, which is the the more towards the center um, elbow on the, the membrane housing. Um, and again, make sure to, to tighten that thoroughly by hand, but don't use a pair of pliers or a spanner because then you have a good chance of actually snapping the plastic fitting or, or uh, stripping the thread. And then attach that to the inlet side of the permeate water. Just measure it, cut it to the right length. And then connect it in. Again, make sure to push firmly so it slides in all the way past the O-ring. Then we take the other connection on the Jacko for the four-way valve side. Slide it over the pipe reattach that to the product water inside of the, the four-way valve. And again, tight, tighten it, it properly. And then once that is um, tightened, then we need to, to have a look at um, that, what kind of length of pipe we actually need. Make sure you don't run it too tight and don't get any kinks in the pipe. Cut the, cut the pipe and install it. And that's basically it. Now you've got the permit pump installed. It's um, a nice and simple setup to do. Okay, now we are basically running the same test again. The bottle in the background is the one without the permit pump. So we're filling the, the five liter, liter container once more. And basically what we got with our test with the first, or our results with the first test is for the five liters, we used 13.2 liters of wastewater. And now we are filling the second bottle here with the permeate pump. And unfortunately this takes a bit of time. So we fast forwarded through it, through it a bit here. And there we go. We've used 7.8 liters, thus improving the efficiency from 38% all the way up to 64%. So that's pretty much a doubling in efficiency without using any, electric any e electricity extra or any really co something that complicates the system. And it's a straightforward DIY thing to just add on to the pump if you um, want to waste less, wat less water. And it's as simple as that.